Dear children, you have learnt the preparation of income and expenditure account. The next part of the final accounts of not-for-profit organization is the balance sheet. Children, before preparing balance sheet, let me explain the treatment of some revenue items such as treatment of subscription, treatment of consumable items like sports materials and treatment of special fund. First one, treatment of subscription in income and expenditure account. Children, we all know that income and expenditure account is prepared following the accrual basis of accounting. What is accrual basis of accounting? Children, revenue receipts and revenue expenditure relating to the current year alone are recorded in the income and expenditure account. That means we should make due adjustments for income received in advance, accrued income, outstanding expenses and prepaid expenses. Okay children, what is receipts and payments? relating to the previous year and subsequent year will not be included. Okay, take only the current year transactions. Okay, children got it? How can we adjust it? When subscription received for the current year, previous year and subsequent period are given separately, Subscription received for the current year will be shown on the credit side of income and expenditure account after making the adjustments. The adjustments are subscription outstanding for the current year is to be added. Then subscription received in advance in the previous year which is mean for the current year is to be added. Okay children. Then when total subscription received during the current year is given, that total subscription received during the current year will be shown on the credit side of income and expenditure account and you should make the following adjustments. The adjustments are subscription outstanding in the previous year which is received in the current year will be subtracted. Subscription outstanding for the current year is added. Then subscription received in advance in the previous year which is mean for the current year is added and subscription received in advance in the current year which is means for the subsequent year must be subtracted. Okay children, the format of income and expenditure account is given here. Subscription received is an income. It should be shown on the credit side of income and expenditure account. Okay. How can we show? By subscription. Show the amount of subscription received. Show the amount in inner column. Okay. Then less subscription for the previous year. If there is any subscription of the previous year included. We should deduct that. Okay. Less subscription for the previous year. Again, less subs subscription for the subsequent year. Then, if there is any subscription of the subsequent year, that also will be deducted. Okay. Then, add outstanding subscription for the current year. If there is any outstanding subscription, it should be added. Okay. Then again add received in advance during the previous year for the current year. Children, if there is any amount on subscription received in the previous year, that amount is on the current year. That should be added. Okay, children. Got it. Okay, what is that? Subscription. Less subscription for the previous year. Again, less subscription for the subsequent year. Okay. This one subscription is related to the previous year. The other subscription is related to the subsequent year. Okay. Not the current year. Okay. We must take only the current year transaction. Okay. Then add 
outstanding subscription for the current year outstanding subscription is related to the current year okay again add out subscription received in advance during the previous year for the current year okay any current year amount paid on previous year that should be added in the current year okay children next treatment in balance sheet how can we treat this subscription in balance sheet subscription outstanding for the current year and still outstanding for the previous year will be shown on the asset side of the balance sheet children here outstanding subscription means the amount of subscription we need to get okay it is an asset to the club or the organization non trading organization okay then if there is any amount received in advance the organization is responsible okay so that amount what is that subscription received in advance in the current year will be shown on the liability side of the balance sheet okay children the format of balance sheet is given here okay then asset side what are the asset side items outstanding subscription for the current year then previous year both find the total then write the amount in outer column okay then on the liability side subscription received in advance for the subsequent year okay question from the following details calculate the amount that will be shown as subscription in income and expenditure account for the year ending 31st march 2017 subscription received for 2015-16 would be 7500 2016-17 would be 60000 2017-18 would be 1500 total subscription received would be 69000 subscription outstanding for the year 2016-17 is would be 2400 subscription for 2016-17 received in 2015-16 was rupees 1000 you are required to show the amount of subscription in income and expenditure account children draw the account write the income and expenditure account for the year ended 31st march 2017 children 2017 is the current year 2016 previous year 2018 subsequent year okay we know that subscription is an income so show subscription on the credit side of the income and expenditure account children here subscription received for the current year previous year and subsequent year are given separately so take subscription received for the current year and this amount will be shown on the credit side of the income and expenditure account and add outstanding subscription for the year 2017 and any amount of subscription of 2017 paid in the year 2016 that amount also should be added to the subscription of the year 2017 okay first take the amount of subscription of 2017 what is the amount of subscription of 2017 children 60000 is the subscription received for the year 2016 17 okay first write that amount on the credit side of the income and expenditure account okay how by subscription for the year 2017 is it is 60000 okay show amount in inner column then what is the adjustment add subscription outstanding for the year 2017 2017 is the current year okay then 
see there in adjustment subscription outstanding for the year 2016-17 is rupees 2400 okay what is it outstanding subscription for the year 2017 okay you should add this figure to the amount of subscription received okay okay children how add outstanding subscription for 2016-17 is rupees 2400 find the total right amount 62400 okay then what is the next adjustment subscription received in advance in the previous year which is mean for the current year also added okay see the adjustment subscription for 2016-17 received in the year 2015-16 was rupees 1000. Okay, you should add this amount also to the subscription received in the year 2016-17. Okay. See children, add subscription received in advance 2015-16 for the current year amount 1000. Total amount in outer column 63,400. Okay, children, how can you show? By subscription, 60,000 and outstanding subscription for 2017, amount 2,400. Underline, write the sum. Again, add subscription received in advance in the year 2016 for the year 2017. Okay, amount 1,000. Right, total amount in outer column 63,400. Okay, children. Next question. How the following items will appear in the final accounts of a club for the renting 31st March 2019? Receipts and payment account is given here. The amount of subscription is shown on the debit side of receipts and payments account. When doing income and expenditure account, you should record the subscription on the credit side. Okay. 2019 is the current year. 2018 is the previous year. 2020 is the subsequent year. Here, 3 years subscription given separately. So, subscription received for the current year will be shown on the credit side of income and expenditure account. The amount of subscription received on current year is given separately. So, you should take that amount first. Okay. First, record current year subscription on the credit side of income and expenditure account and show the rupees 48,000 is the current year subscription. Okay, children, then we should add subscription outstanding for the current year. Children, see the question. Here, outstanding subscription for the current year is not given. But subscription still outstanding for the year 2017-18 is rupees 1000. It is given in the question. Children, this amount is the outstanding subscription of 2018 it was already adjusted in the year 2018 okay it was adjusted in the income and expenditure account of 2018 so you need not take this figure in the income and expenditure account of 2019 but you should show this figure in the balance sheet okay here Outstanding subscription for the current year is not given, but the amount of subscription received, total number of members and the subscription per member is given in the question. So, from the given information, we are able to calculate outstanding subscription. Children, how many members are there in the club? Total. 300 members are there in the club. We collecting would be 200 per member. So, we will get total subscription 
60,000 in a year. Children, how? 300 members into 200 per member. Okay. So, 200 into 300 is equal to 60,000. Okay. 60,000 is one year subscription. Okay. Total one year subscription is would be 60,000. Got it? Out of this 60,000 subscription, how many rupees we received? Children, see the question. In the receipts and payments account, see the In the year 2019, we received 48,000. Okay. So, from the total subscription of one year, by deducting this amount what we received, the balancing figure is the outstanding. Okay, children. How? Subscription for the current year. Total subscription for the current year is 300 members into 200 per member is equal to 60,000 less amount already received 48,000 and the balance is outstanding subscription. Okay children now you got it outstanding subscription. Okay. 2019 we have 12,000 rupees outstanding subscription. Okay, then do the income and expenditure account. Okay, on the credit side, by subscription received 48,000 and outstanding subscription 12,000. Find the total and write the amount in outer column 60,000. Children, 60,000 is the one year subscription. Okay, how 300 members into 200 per member total subscription 60,000 okay you can show that in income and expenditure account 48,000 we received balance 12,000 is outstanding okay children then next year what is the next step balance sheet okay how can we show this in the balance sheet show outstanding subscription in the asset side of the balance sheet. Okay. Subscription received in advance. Liability. Outstanding subscription is an asset. Okay. Here current year sub outstanding subscription is 12,000. Then previous year still outstanding is 1,000. Okay. So on the asset side outs outstanding subscription in the year 2018,000. Then in the year 2019, 12,000. Underline, write the total in outer column, 13,000. Okay. Next year, see the question. In the year 2019, we received subscription of the year 2020. Okay, what is that amount? 3,000. It is the liability of the club. Okay, so you should show the subscription received in advance 3000 on the liability side of the balance sheet okay subscription received in advance for the year 2019-20 would be 3000 okay children next question from the following receipts and payments account and the additional information given below Calculate the amount of subscription to be shown in income and expenditure account for the year ending 31st December 2018. Children, you are required to prepare income and expenditure account. Now you need to do balance sheet. See the question. Subscription for 2017, 2018 and 2019 are given. Children, 2018 is the current year, 2017 previous year and 2019 subsequent year. Subscription is an income shown on the credit side of income and expenditure account. Draw the account, write the title income and expenditure account for the year ending 31st December 2018. Show subscription on the credit side as by subscription received during the year 2018 amount in inner column 172000 and 
Outstanding subscription for the year 2018. Amount 8000. Underline. Total 180000 in outer column. Okay children. If you need you can do the balance sheet. How can you do the balance sheet? Draw the balance sheet. Write outstanding subscription on the asset side. Subscription received in advance on the liability side. What is the outstanding subscription? The amount given in the additional information. Subscription outstanding for the year 2018. Would be 8000 on the asset side. Then subscription received for the year 2019 amount 12000 is the liability subscription received in advance that shown on the liability side of the balance sheet okay children next question how the following items will appear in the final accounts of a club for the year ending 31st march 2019 receipts and payments account given in the question Subscription received for the year 2018, 2019 and 2020 are given. 2019 is the current year, 2018 previous year, 2020 subsequent year. Subscription received would be 5000 is subscription received in advance. It will be shown on the liability side of the balance sheet. Okay. You are required to prepare final accounts of the club. What are the final accounts of the non-trading organization? Income and expenditure account and balance sheet. First, draw the income and expenditure account. Write the title income and expenditure account for the renting 31st March 2019. Subscription is an income show on the credit side. Okay. By subscription received during the year 50,000. Then add outstanding subscription. Children, see the question. Read adjustment. There are 200 members in the club, each paying an annual subscription of rupees 400 per annum. Subscription still outstanding for the year 2017-18 is rupees 2000. Children, outstanding subscription for the year 2019 is not given, but the total members and the Subscription per member is given in the question. From the given information, you can calculate the outstanding subscription. How can you calculate? Find the total amount of subscription for the year 2019. That is equal to 200 members into 400 per member is equal to 80,000. Okay. Okay, children. Out of that eighty thousand, we already received fifty thousand. Okay, so deduct subscription amount received is equal to fifty thousand. Balance thirty thousand is outstanding. Okay, children, you got it. How? Total subscription for the year 2019 is rupees 80,000 less amount received for the year 2019, 50,000. Underline balancing figure 30,000 is outstanding. Okay, children, then. Enter on the income and expenditure account. How can you enter? By subscription received 50,000. Add outstanding subscription for the year 2019. 30,000. Underline. Write 80,000 in outer column. Okay children. Next step. Balance sheet. Draw the balance sheet. Write the title. Balance sheet as on 31st March 2019. Children, 
outstanding subscription will be shown on the asset side of the balance sheet and subscription received in advance will be shown on the liability side of the balance sheet okay first enter the asset side outstanding subscription for the year 2019 write the amount in inner column would be 30000 plus subscription still outstanding for the year 2018 amount in inner column 2000 underline write the total 32000 in outer column then come to the liability side Subscription received in advance for the year 2020 amount 5000 in outer column. Okay children. Thank you.